Hello, Susan Young here. In this video, I will be covering reasons why I, a shopaholic, was overspending. People spend money for many reasons, and if I can be honest with myself, most of the reasons can be chalked up to my emotions. I am going to share about four reasons I overspent. The first thing I spend the most is because of social media. I could be scrolling along through social media, and before I knew it, I had spent money on something that caught my eye that I thought for sure I needed. To say the least, we all wa want what we don't have, and we want it because we think it will make our life m that much better. To me, I have a hard time resisting the temptation. I find it with all the purchases I make on social media, it drains my bank account down. When is it going to end? The second mistake I make is not tracking what I spend. And I find that if I don't keep track of what I spend, I don't have control of my money. And I get the feeling that money controls me instead of me controlling it. And if I wonder where all my money went by at the end of the month, I better start tracking what I spent. I usually keep a journal of everything I spent. When I stop doing my journal, money just slips through my fingers. Sometimes I have joked around about being a shopaholic, but compulsive spending, otherwise known as retail therapy, is a real thing to me. Spending on an impulse just because I want it now is a big problem with me. I see something online and before I even think about my, how much money I have in the checking account, I buy it. That is a major problem I'm ha having buying with my emotions. What I don't realize is that I spend more money when paying with my debit card than paying with cash. When I spend with cash, I feel it. I feel it that crisp, wrinkled up green bills leave my hand than using a debit card. I realize that one moment I have money and when it leaves my hand, it's, it's gone. When I use my debit card, I don't see the money disappearing right away until I check my checking account and I'm in shock how much money is drained from my account. When I set myself a, a limit of cash I can spend, that's all I spend. I don't overspend like I do when I'm using a debit card. These are my four main reasons I overspend. If I can conquer them, I spend less money and stick to my budget, but I can say it's a struggle for me unless I pay attention to what I am doing. Now, here's what I want you to do. Go to the YouTube channel, Zero Debt Coach. Brad Long can direct you with your finances. Brad and I will be working together to help you to be successful. When you go to his channel, tell him Stop Big Spending or Susan Young sent you there. Question of the day. Shopaholics, how do you spend money the most? Feel free to share down below. Check out my website at www.stopbigspending.com. Leave me your email address at the Contact Us page on the website and I will inform you on my next videos coming up. My next video I will be covering five signs you have a spending problem. How are you doing so far with this video? If you like this video, hit the like button below. See you next week here on YouTube and see you in social media. You have a good week.